hi everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're really well please subscribe if you haven't done so yet for more videos on perfumes and whatnot today I want to talk about iris if you haven't noticed from the title you can notice from my kimono which has many iris flowers on it um, and this flower is really dear to me because it's very comforting in my opinion and it's not so well accepted lately for the reasons I will share. Um, to start with, um, one of the reasons I love Iris, um, I have to give a bit of background. Iris was a goddess, the goddess of the rainbow in ancient Greece and she mainly was the messenger of the gods from heaven and earth so she was the bridge like the rainbow is in spanish we say arco iris and also the reason why the flowers are called iris is because they may change color or they vary on in color some people may see it blue some people see it purple i see it purple but that's just me and well, it's a very interesting flower because it represents wisdom and hope and for that reason I find it fascinating. Further to that, I think in perfumery we have used it in the last century, overly used it and it carries out some vintage -y vibes when we purchase a perfume that has, you know, iris to it. Um, Iris can be used in two different ways. We can use the bulb of the flower and what we get is a more carrot sweet like scent. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's more sweet. And then if we actually use the actual flower, we end up with a more flowery and you know, violety scent. Um, I will show you which are my favorite iris perfumes that I have and the reasons behind them and I hope that you enjoy yourself whilst me doing this small review. First of all and my favourite of them all it has to be Iris Prima by Ben Hawigans. You can observe the actual box of this because it's an absolute work of art. This was made in conjunction with the um, English National Ballet so it has like, if we open the actual um, box, you can see that it's black because this is supposed to be a stage and she is the star of the show or he is the star of the show. It's a very androgynous scent. And the reason for that, I think is because it has a lot of leather in the base and it also has a lot of femininity to it. Iris is quite a feminine um, flower. So I'll let you observe the bottle and the craftsmanship of Ben Halligans, which is amazing and super on their game. <laughs> this is made of um, suede, which is supposed to be like a ballet slipper um, base. And let's just give it a quick spray oh wow well the exit is very peppery and bergamotty so I think it's the spark of actually being out on the on the stage what they wanted to convey with that it comes out very very strongly then in the middle notes well, I can't quite smell the middle notes right now, but I can distinctly smell the iris in this fragrance. I would say that the iris that has been used is more the bulbous one because it has a more suede-like scent, which is very similar to the leather that is on the base and the wood, etc. So without it being overly feminine and overly masculine, this is a very strong scent that has a lot of character. Perhaps you would smell this and say, oh, 
my mother smelled like that or my grandmother smelled like that. I do not think that this is a very old scent, but it has a lot of character and a lot of presence. And I think that's essentially what they want to convey, the hard work of ballet, essentially. <laughs> um, I also have to say that Iris perhaps has been very much in our minds because there was a boom of this perfume called Borussia back in the 90s and every woman, my mother, was using that perfume very often and it has a very distinct scent of Iris. Prior to that we had Samsara by Guerlain, still available and it's amazing. That's more of a creamy sort of soapy um, iris but it's also got that vintagey kind of vibe to it. My polar opposite um, side is the favourite by Panhaligans as well. Again, a very feminine, not again, this is a very feminine fragrance as opposed to um, Iris Prima which is more of a you know androgynous scent and this is just absolutely gorgeous the bottle I think they both complement each other very well I'm not saying that this was made on purpose but seeing them together absolutely makes sense to you know to think that they are um, friends or sisters whatever so let's just give the favorite a smell Oh, this is beautiful. This is such a beautiful scent. It has a powdery exit, flowery as well, a little bit of citrus, not too much, and the iris is at the middle, paired with mimosa. Mimosa is another favourite of mine. Oh, <laughs> the flowers. I love flowers. I mean, I couldn't pick, but you know, Iris and Mimosa are just a very nice combination, very soft, very feminine, very easy to wear. This is easier to wear than actual um, Iris Prima. And the base is musky, so it's quite sexy actually. Um, I would say that this, this is not on the level of femininity as Delina or Delina exclusive because those are very rosy and very, very, not bubble gummy, but very feminine, absolutely feminine. But this, this is feminine, but not too much in your face that you want to like cry <laughs> all the time. I think this is elegant. I'm not saying that the Luna isn't. Let's just leave that there. Beautiful scent. We'll, we'll be able to close that scent with just saying that is beautiful. Both of them, I bought them blindly. And I did so because reading the ingredients and the components and I would say that Iris Prima was not what I was expecting. I was expecting something more leathery and less pungent. Um, but I'm not disappointed at all. It's one of my favorite scents that I have and the favorite I also bought it blindly and I would say that it was because of the marketing and the actual bottle this is really bad and when it arrived it was for me like this scent represents me at times of course like it, it varies that's what perfume is for to match your mood or change your mood with it so another two fragrances that i want to introduce but they're really like i will introduce them not very lightly they have iris on them but i can't quite grasp it i mean first of all we have bois d'argent by christian dior bois d'argent is very woody i mean it's called bois so what is supposed to mean i mean um wood um the exit is iris but then it grounds and it becomes more musky and more soft and more woody and i absolutely love it 
as well. Bois d'Argent is beautiful. Um, and then another one that I just received the sample from is uh, Frédéric Mal Pierre Bourdon Iris Powder or Iris Poudre. So I'm just gonna spray it on my wrist. Oh. That is so gorgeous. It's very powdery, very feminine. And you can tell that this is durable. This is not easy to wear though. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Sorry, I did not remember it smelling like that. Um, I have to say that it smells very similar to Samsara. And it has a lot of powder and the iris is at the base of it. Is it worth for it to be of the price that it, it has? I do not know. I would have to wear it for longer. But there are other, other alternatives to iris fragrances that I think could be also very similar to this. It's gorgeous though. I think it's gorgeous. I will see how it develops and think. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye!